to start using CloudBerry Drive with HP Cloud, first of all you have to be signed up for HP Cloud. To do this, go to hpcloud.com. New customers will automatically get a $20 credit for the first 3 billing months, so you can try HP Cloud storage service for free. On hpcloud.com click on the Get Started button and now click on Start your free trial today. Then you need to fill in the registration form and click Create Account. You will receive an email with a link to verify your account. Follow the link and you will get to the HP Cloud console. I already did it, so I click on the console button in the top menu, enter username and password and click login. Then if you log in for the first time you will need to give your credit card information. Now in the account menu select manage services. If you log in for the first time status of object storage will be not active and you should click on the activate button. After some time status turns to active and after that click on the manage button. To create a public or private container click on one of these buttons, specify name, also you can enable CDN option. Now click on the create button. I already have a container here. Now click on the CloudBerry Drive icon in the tray and select options. Open storage accounts tab and click on the add button. In the Storage Provider drop-down menu select HP Cloud. You can change the display name if you want. Username consists of your project ID and your username, with column between them. To find your project ID click on the API keys in the top menu of the HP Cloud control panel. To find your username select My Account in the Account menu and here is your username. Now I paste my project ID and type Colin and my username. In the API key field you must enter password which you use to enter the HP Cloud control panel. You can click on the test connection button and if you correctly enter all information you will get this message. Also you can use Keystone authentication option. In this case in the username field you should use only your username. API key still exactly the same. URL in the authentication service field will be changed automatically. In the last field you should enter your tenant name or tenant ID. They can be found at the API keys page of the HP Cloud control panel. Your project ID is your tenant ID and your project name is your tenant name. I use project ID, copy it, select tenant ID and paste it here. Let's click on the test connection button again to ensure that everything is fine. Click OK and now open Map Drive tab and click on the Add button. Select your HP Cloud storage account, specify drive letter, volume label and path. I have only one container here, select it and click OK. Click OK once again and select Yes to mount drive right now. And now I have access to my HP Cloud storage with Windows Explorer. You can get your 15-day trial version of CloudBerry Drive at cloudberrylab.com drive.